Can you influence things? Can you do things to make it better? The second question is, if you can't fix Congress, what, what can you do all by yourself as president that would maybe make things a lot better? I mean, let's assume you don't have any support from Congress. Is there anything you can do? Can you tell us what you can do to make life better for us? Yeah, I think the two, two are connected. I think the answer by uh, Congress, it is broken. And the main reason Congress doesn't work, and what you're fussing about down there right now, and whether the government's going to close down, this sort of thing, it's broke because we're broke. And the people in Washington won't admit it. They won't cut anything. They think they can continue to do what we've been doing, not cut anything and keep spending money and borrowing money and printing money, and that's why they're up against, against the wall. So I would have to convince the people that this is where the reception is good. This is why we're doing well in the campaign. People know this. They, I mean, just common sense tells us that we have to get, you know, get our business uh, in order for this. But an individual president uh, has, has some leeways. Uh, the, uh, I think I did mention about there's a limit to what you can do with the Federal Reserve. You, the president can't close it down, but you can work in that direction. But the president has a lot of authority over the troops and foreign policy. If we all, all of a sudden had a foreign policy where we weren't looking for another war, uh, I mean, it would send a powerful signal around the world. Uh, we would be thought of differently. Uh, I think it would be a boost to our economy because there would be less spending in this area. But you have to bring people together. There's no doubt about it. But uh, the, the concept of liberty has a, it's sort of broken up into two pieces. And one group defends the economic liberties, the other group defends personal liberties and also, you know, maybe the foreign policy. But you really need to bring people together on this, so you would have to work with uh, Democrats and, and liberals who think that we, we don't need to spend this money overseas. And uh, independents, they, they, they are inclined to do this. So I think it's bringing people together. But the, the Congress, you say, well, this is still overwhelming. It's, there's still other people there that have been running this broken Congress. But you know what? Congress, it, it sounds like an overwhelming task, but it's not as bad. What we need to do is get people to express themselves and what they believe in. Because I'll let, I'll let you in on a secret. Most members of Congress aren't very philosophic. They don't have strong convictions. You know? <laughs> but they, they, they want to be reelected. Now, if you send them that, they said they have to bring home the bacon and spend more money and invade Iran and do all this, or you'll throw them out, they're going to do it. But if you say, we've had enough of these wars, we need to look into the Federal Reserve, we need to some balance budget, we need to cut the spending, they'll come your way, but they have to hear from you. So my election would also bring new people in and it would set the stage for a much better environment. To make it sound like it's duck soup and real easy, no, it isn't. But it would be a shift in attitude, and we haven't had a shift in attitude for a long, long time because we keep doing the same dumb thing.